What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Gravity Falls analysis video. And I've got something really cool to show you. Look at it! It's so cool! Uh, so this is a, a, a visionaire cipher, right? So we worked out in the last episode, uh, basically we, we watched the first three episodes. I still haven't updated this, but we watched the first three episodes of season two, which I thought were freaking fantastic, really high quality episodes, loved them. And we had these three codes and we worked out that they were new cipher. It, it was over a new cipher and that was the visionaire cipher, the, the gay visionaire cipher as everybody seems to love these days. Yeah, apparently that's, apparently that's become a thing now. But as you probably saw in that reaction video, I solved each code, each of those three codes completely manually. But now, now I, I need not worry about these codes because you, I can literally solve them in like 10 seconds now. So basically I, I did some research and I'm thinking of actually doing a separate video, um, Kind of like, not, not to do with Gravity Falls or anything, but just to do about, to, to with Visionaire ciphers in general, because I think it's really cool, and I, I think the way that it was decoded was, was mad, and I think the, uh, the story of how the Visionaire cipher came to be is actually really, really interesting, and I really want to make a video about that, so let me know if that's something that you think you'll enjoy. But, I did a lot of research into it, and this is basically like a Visionaire square. Right, and it's a 26 by 26 grid, and it has each of the uh, po different possibilities of Caesar ciphers. Um, Caesar ciphers are obviously the alphabet shifted by uh, a certain amount of letters. Um, and then this is how you uh, decode Visionaire ciphers. So um, you, you kind of you use your key, and then you go across, and then you find the letter that you have in your code, and then that's going to be an M. So it's like that's how you do it. And to show you that this works, I'm actually going to decode a code that I left in the reaction video that I'm talking about. I'm talking about this video. You should watch it if you haven't already. It's really good. Uh, but if you go all the way to the end of the episode, this is something that I'm now doing for all of my videos all the time. So it's, and, and it's really fun to do. And I really love seeing people in the comments solving it as well. It's probably going to be at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Uh, B, D, L, G, X, W, L, S, Z, S, F, D, G, U, S, F, S, G, exclamation mark. So that's what I've got written down here. And the way that you solve this code, spoilers, uh, is not a Caesar. It is not an at bash. It is, in fact, a visionaire cipher. And it turns out that you can find the key in the video and it is right here it is on the chair it says ozone so if you put in the key ozone ta-da it works next time more shorts and i genuinely had loads of people get that in the comments which like well done uh because i thought it was pretty well hidden so i need to up my game a little bit but uh what does this code mean well we're going to be watching more shorts today. Yay! It's a sort of yay and a sort of like meh. Um, because like I, I, I understand you guys enjoy the shorts and it's extra content for the show and they're funny and the Dipper ones have secret codes and uh, and it's really like intertwined with the, the story of Gravity Falls, etc. For me... I find them a little bit tedious. And I, I think the reason for that is because they're so short. It's really hard to react to them when it's literally just like this, 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 this. Uh, like, like it's it's really fast paced. But of course, I'm, I, I want to go as far as I can with this series. I want to cover as much content as possible. People have asked me if I'm going to be reading the books. Of course I am. Like th the books in the FNAF franchise are my favorite part. So I'm sure Gravity Falls books are just are, are going to be just a lot more amazing. Uh, that was not proper English, but okay. And so today, because there were actually two shorts that I missed, uh, unfortunately. So we're going to be watching them right now. Now, you guys have to understand to me that there's 
a, a lot of people talking to me at once. A lot of people want me to watch the shorts. A lot of people don't want me to watch the shorts. A lot of people are telling me to watch these shorts. A lot of people are telling me to watch these shorts. So it's kind of hard to kind of get a consensus on what you guys want and what you guys think I should do because to be frankly honest, I don't want to be spoiled for season two. Uh, but at the same time, you guys don't want me to react to season one and then season two and then the shorts because the shorts are kind of like halfway in between. It's it's a weird, it's a funny placement. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to today be reacting to the TV shorts. Uh, there's two of them. And then also Mabel's scrapbook, uh, which is also two shorts, I believe. So... Not that many. Um, I know that there is creepy letters from Little Gideon. I'm not going to react to that one today. Uh, let me guys, let, let me know guys if I can react to that one at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to make this video and then react to episodes number four to six. And then we'll see where we're at from there. But um but yeah, let me know if I can if I can watch any more shorts at the moment. We're going to start with Gravity Falls TV short one. I don't know what TV short means, but let's go, I guess. <laughs> ah, Gravity Falls Public Access TV. Sounds amazing. Hi, I'm Mr. Mystery. Do you like to be I bewildered? See. Be well, be wells, wells, wildered, bewildered, <laughs> bewildered. <laughs> Smoke bomb. <laughs> Oh. For mysteriously cheap oddities. Ah! Okay, so it's an ad for the mystery shack. Don't take it from me. Take it. From I love me. the awful green screen. I've had that issue sometimes with my green screen. The real Mister Mystery. The great deals at this place are making me see double. Making me see trouble. Double. <laughs> <laughs> so says some words. <laughs> If you accidentally eat the prize that comes inside your cereal, does that make you a specially marked box? What? Little Gideon's big hat. Okay. Hi, I'm Little Gideon. I may be currently incarcerated, but I'm turning my life around by turning around the lives of those around me around. <laughs> Let your dream light out. Isn't this kid like six years old? You're getting so strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's always worse than you remember. I don't know why you guys want me to watch these things, but, but they're funny. They're funny, and um, it, it is world building at the end of the uh, at, at the end of the day. Um, because I I really like that the idea that the mystery shack has this advertisement, and Seuss has this show where he just says random things, and then. Gideon as well is in prison, but he is still like a some sort of star or whatever So I really like the character development or not character development But like character and world building in the the shorts as well I think um, I think it's because I think at the time I think here's what happened I think season two happened over like a span of like two years or something. It must have been crazy having to wait for each episode for months. It must have been absolutely crazy. So I, I think that they sp uh, they filled in the blanks with shorts. Um, I think that that's what they did. Um, again, let me know if I'm wrong on that, but I think that's how it worked. Okay, I'm gonna watch TV short number two now. Beats just staring at a blank wall, barely. Oh, now it's Stan watching, okay. Oh, here we go, cray cray. You acting cray cray. You acting cray cray. Girl, girl, you know what I'm about to say. Say it! I'm not your puppet! What? <laughs> Here we are, two good friends at a <laughs> basketball game. Not policemen. Hi, Craig. Hey, Tom Tom. Hello, Craig. Hey, Stacy. Hi, Craig. Who wants to go drink expired apple juice and then kiss each other? <laughs> Peer pressure emergency. Peer pressure. Uh uh. No, no. Bibbidi bop kazow. I can't be pressured. No way, no how. <laughs> So random. Let's roll. Oh my god. <laughs> Man's got fish nets Detective. on. Detective. Oh, nice. Detective. It turns out your old partner is alive. 
No! Penguin Tective! Steve! Uh. I'm actually invested in this show, you know. Just call me Duck. No! Enough of that. What a load of rubbish. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, as I say, I have no idea why you guys want me to watch these, but they exist. They exist. All right. So the other one that you guys wanted me to watch as well was Mabel's scrapbook. So let's quickly do that. Again, they're two minutes long. Bam. Episode one. Good memories this summer. Whether it was battling gnomes. Solving mysteries or winning that dog nice. race against that space lizard. But I'll never what? forget that trip to the petting zoo. I'm gonna pet you. I'm gonna pet you. Oh, you better believe I'm gonna pet you. <sighs> Octavia. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't think nature would allow this. Yeah, Hick Farmer, what gives? Octavia? Well, she's just another blessing from the toxic sludge running off the mud flat factory. Right. <laughs> we can't let Octavia be eaten. Come on, Mabel. Cows are delicious. But we love her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is she's wearing a sushi jumper? Did she not know that that's fish? <laughs> Dead fish. Brace yourselves! What's this got to do with Mabel's scrapbook? Oh, it's one of her memories. Okay. Serves me right for building an escape ramp. <laughs> Skate ramp. It's giving me vibes from The Boy Season 4. Run! Man's got. Well, that was a fun day. Man's got Compound V in him. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's watch the next one. Your family is banned! <laughs> what? Bro! I've got a plan to break in. Okay, it's gonna go down like this. Stan will get us in using his incredible lockpicking skills. <laughs> I was about to say. The next step is to get Thompson away from the snack stand. Why does he sound so different? This will give Mabel just enough time to coat herself entirely in syrup. I'm so lost. I'm so lost. <laughs> This is so weird! Okay. If all goes according to plan, we should arrive in the theater in exactly the amount of time it takes for the previews to end. 43 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's in a scrapbook. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna say this one last time. I have absolutely no idea why you guys wanted me to watch either of those, but I'm all for it. It's um, it was it was pretty good. It was it was all right. So that was not the only reason I wanted to. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That was not the only reason I wanted to make a video today. I also want to quickly go through episodes one to three to see if there's anything that I missed. I bet you there is. <laughs> I bet you there's loads that I've missed. Uh, so let's go through them, them right now. I can't talk today. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention as well, in my usual decoder with all the ciphers and stuff, I've also made this. So I do, I think is fools, right? Yeah. So if I type I do in here, it automatically spills out and there's, there's the Caesar. So I can literally just copy and paste the codes in here. So this is the one from Boss Mabel. And I can put them in my decoder. I've got so many tabs in here now. I can put it in there. And it says, heavy is the head that wears the fez. Remember remember how long that one took? I, actually, I don't know if that one took that long. But, um, but like, it's so much easier now. I can literally just copy and paste. Here, here are some of the formulas uh, if you want to make it at home. Uh, this is a lovely formula. Look at that. And then I don't even want to show you the... Uh, the vision air cipher, uh, cipher formulas, but here you go. This craziness. 
And then here we got some X lookups and some substitutes indirects. It's it's pretty cool. Um, I I really enjoyed making this. Um, and I, I did get a few comments actually uh, in some of my previous videos saying, why don't you just use online ciphers? And my answer to you is be is because that's not as fun to me. For me, it's really fun being able to do all of it manually or just being able to make systems that will do it for me. Because I, I sort of feel like you're missing half the fun if you're just taking a code that you find and then you're plonking it in in like a decoder online. Uh, I, I find it really fun to actually learn about um, like decryption and, and how how you actually solve them and how it works. And it's actually, it's, it's really fun. It, it, it's maybe, maybe it's only for me that it's fun, but for me, I find it really fun to go and try and solve everything myself. So that's what I'm doing, unfortunately. And if you don't like that, then that's fine. Uh, but you know, th that's something that's unique about my channel uh, covering Gravity Falls is the fact that I'm doing that. So here we have the first episode, Scary Oki. Now, I cannot imagine I'm going to need to uh, decipher any of this. But is there anything in here that is noteworthy? I don't think so. There's an infinity right there. Then the triangle, then a boat. Okay, yeah, I, I can't imagine that's going to be anything. But uh, it's cool to do it in uh, in slow mo as well. So here is here is the key that we uh, that we did find. I am really scared for future episodes because I feel like the keys are going to get even harder to find, and so I have a feeling we're going to be going through some episodes not knowing how to solve the codes. But of course, as I just said, I, I want to solve the codes myself. So if you don't tell me, then that's better. I, I prefer not being told directly. I prefer solving everything myself. Um, so this is Oregon, uh, as we learnt in that, I think it was the mega, mega season one lore hunt that we did. Um, this is Oregon, and then this is California. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to say California because I guess I, I guess I've stuck to California now, but no, that's not California, is it? I don't freaking know. I don't know US, US uh, geography. Uh, that's a cool map or whatever. Okay, so here we go. So there, there are a few like main things that I wanted to go through. Uh, of course, when we get around to the end of season two, I am going to be doing a season two uh, law hunt video. Uh, but for now, I'm just kind of doing everything that I can. Um, everything that I can remember here. So here we have like town and this is Victor Trembley. And then we have Gideon, like what does Gideon have to do with, with everything? Little Gideon in the big house. This is the, the gossiper magazine or newspaper. This symbol is connected to Bill. Uh, what does he want? This is a a bill. It says 618 below again. What is the 618 obsession? I don't know. Uh, okay. I, I would have thought this would be minus 12, you know, but it's, it's funny that they didn't put minus 12 there. Um, Summerween, funnily enough. Summerween is right there. I didn't realize that. But the Summerween monster is right there. And then we have uh, the journal as well. Series so saying who's the author, uh, and then Key Shack Experiment seventy eight. So here's my thought: is we have a code down here that we did spot in the episode. Um, I'd imagine this is also a uh, a visionaire cipher, and the key is Shack. I think that that could be the case. We should try that. So I, I've just been looking at like different frames in that shot and this is what I've got. So TEV, FP, TB, KAV, PL, MBOC, BQ. It's quite hard because in some shots Dipper, Dipper's arms covering it. So you have to like go a few frames over to find the full message. 
Um, and then a few of the letters, I'm like, could that be a P? Could that be a B? Is it a letter at all? Like, I, I don't even know if this is going to be a code. My best guess right here is that it is a visionaire, which means we put it in here. And I mean, my best guess is that the key isn't Ozone, but I think that the key is Shaq. Damn it. Huh. Um, so the only other thing I can think right now is that it could be a different Caesar. Uh, it could be a, a Caesar. It could be a Caesar with a different key. So like instead of three letters back, which would usually be so from T, it would be P as we wait. I oh, know from T it would be Q, sorry, which we have here. So this works. So instead of it being T to Q, maybe it's like T to P or uh, T to A or like uh, it could be any. So hmm, let me let me have a few like let me let me have a good attempt at this. Ah, there we go. OK, so what is this? So this is. Oh, instead of three letters back, this is three letters forward? Did I do this wrong somehow? Um, oh, so actually what this is, is this is encryption. So let me just, hang on, give me a second. So what you'll find is when you encrypt, and I, I made this encryption thingy so that I could make um, codes for the videos, for the end of the videos, so funnily enough, I the one thing I didn't do is put it in an encryption, which is basically decryption is solving the codes. Encryption is making the codes. You'll you'll heard about you you've probably heard about like encrypted messages and things like that with like um, technology and computers and uh, you know like I I encryption is making sure that our data is secure uh, essentially, um, and so when you encrypt it um oops i just did the same thing twice when you encrypt it you do actually get a code and i forgot what it was why is wendy so perfect although i think i missed a letter uh and and that letter would be uh it would be c it'd be an f i think um so i, I i've clearly missed an f but uh, that's fine. That's fine. We we know what it is. Um, why is Wendy so perfect? Cool. So we, we solved that. I don't know why randomly they do that, right? I don't know why every now and then it's not three letters back. Um, so it, it's quite difficult. I, I, I would have preferred, to be completely honest, I would have preferred it if the answer to this was that you take this and you use this key, which is Shack, and you use it in a visionaire. I think that would have been a really cool code to to find, um, because like the key is on the same screen as the code, so why wouldn't it be a visionaire, you know? But um, there you go. So there's there's one code that we found. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot more too, because this is season two. And because this is a very law heavy episode, uh, what do we have here? So we have the hide behind and the hide behind we saw in the shorts. Um, so I guess this is like an eyeball at the top. That's like, you can't, you don't know what it looks like or whatever. And then we have like a question mark on the hide behind never been seen. Footprints look like fricking spanners. I, we keep seeing this, like, it's like a stamp. It's really strange what, I, I don't know what that is, but um, here, this is definitely going to turn into a cipher at some point. I assume when we uh, get Journal 3 IRL, that that is actually going to be like a cipher that we're going to have to use. And we're going to have to go back through the episodes or something to find out the answers. Um, cool. So I, I noticed this on my first watch, but we have the stand vac here, and that was in uh, episode number 19, 
where we saw one of his memories uh, was was about like a Stan vacuum, uh, one of his lifelong passions, I'm sure. But uh, we can see that it was there. And then I think oh, Gold Chains magazine for old men or something comes up. Yeah, Gold Chains for old men. We've got cologne, uh, a diamond ring. Sheesh. Uh, mothballs. Stan. Oh, Stan back again. So this is actually a vacuum. Uh, I guess this is just his closet. That's just like one of his uh, jackets that he wears, I guess. Uh cool boxing gloves i think i saw in there as well fully clothed women magazine the trench coat issue lady swimwear <laughs> i love it it's really funny those are the magazines that i like reading oh there's a code there oh and there's a code there as well so we have leprechaun okay and then it's like a is that a what is that I've, why have I forgotten what that is? Uh, but it's like a lucky uh, lucky charm, I think. Um, uh, Four-leaf clover as well. Yeah, so this is like a lucky animal or whatever. <laughs> Look at it, though. Look at that thing. Okay, so we can take Z, D, W, F, K, R, X, W, and Nalu, P, H. Why does this look familiar to me? Okay, let's, let's have a look at it. Okay, Z, D, W, F, K, R, XW watch out okay okay and then we have n lu p h so d v kill me please what what huh excuse me in a kids show okay okay wait i'm actually surprised at that what kill me please is that the leprechaun talking or, no, I, I guess that's um, the writer, the author of the book is like, man, I have to write about this freaking animal. Like, what the, what the hell is this thing? Kill me, please. Um, so those are two interesting quotes. Watch out and kill me, please. We're going to come across a leprechaun uh, in the series. I bet you 100%. There's going to be a leprechaun at some point, And it's going to be like, it's going to look really innocent. And it's actually going to be really dangerous or something. Uh, because, you know, we, we have a warning already. Watch out. Kill me, please. Like, th yeah, this scene is so raw. It's one of my favorite scenes in the show so far. It's when Stan just comes out and he is, he is epic. Like, man, it's so cool. Um, so this is what I'm interested to see, actually, uh, is uh, what the uh, black light has to show. So I have decided to use invisible ink to keep away prying eyes. Anyone could be watching me, um, including Bill Cipher, right? So Bill Cipher is always watching, as I've said so many times, but it's, it's one of my favorite lines. It's so funny. Um, and then it says invisible ink here, which is cool. Uh, I, I really like that, actually, that it has ink. It's like an ink uh, thing. Uh, what, what do you call it? An ink... Um, I don't know what you call it. Um, it's in it's in Bendy and the Ink Machine, funnily enough. An ink... Oh, I can't remember. Like, just an ink jar. So we have an ink jar and a quill as well. Um, and then when it's when you see the invisible text, it says invisible ink, which is really funny. Um, so that's cool, right? That's really cool. Maybe this is used. Maybe the black light is used because... Bill Cipher can't see black light. That would be quite an interesting, um, not necessarily a twist, but like an interesting explanation to to why black light is actually used. Because like, it's really cool that black light is used and it's really cool that this is this mysterious book. But at the end of the day, why? Why is it so mysterious? Why do, do we have to hide things in black light, etc.? What is the law behind that? Uh, that light is an eye as well so like anyone could be watching me kind of comes into that a little bit can't sleep can't sleep can't sleep can't sleep trust no one is circled now um is this right i just don't know anymore ah so i reckon this is like a retcon um in a way i reckon that they made this page for season one 
and then uh, as, as like um, they didn't, they didn't, it didn't go anywhere, right? Um, they used that page, and uh, sorry, they made that page. They used that page, and it didn't result in anything. But now, now they want to turn it into an actual cipher or something, and they're going to do that in Journal Three probably. Um, and now this is like foreshadowing saying, is this actually right? I don't know anymore. As in like, this isn't, this isn't right, but there will be a correct version in the future or something. Um, like there is something here. Um, <laughs> so giant vampire bites is actually giant fruit bats. Um, did I say vampire bites? I meant vampire bats. Um, Nothing to worry about. All they want is fruit. So that's good to know that if we ever see the bats again, all you need to do is give them fruit. Uh, floating eyeball. Floating nonsense. I was wrong to worry about these things. They are inconsequential. Okay. Pepper spray makes them go away. <laughs> Amazing. So I really like that it's, it's going into um, each of the monsters and it's going into how you combat them. Uh, I think that's really interesting and really cool. I don't want to know what this bladder is. Let's move on swiftly from that. Oh, yeah, and, and here we go. Zombies have a weakness. Previously thought to be invincible, their skulls can be shattered by a perfect three-part harmony. So there you go. This is just showing uh, one of their weaknesses. Um, so maybe it's a, it's a thing of like the black light um, text, the invisible ink was written after the original like it's hard to know what's going on with this invisible ink why it was actually made etc but I, I, we might learn more about it as the series goes on i'm hoping that we're going to find out who the author is because at the moment i don't think it's old man mcgucket anymore um it could be like he knows things and he's crazy but i don't know um friday night and we're gonna party till dawn don't worry daddy I've got my favorite dress on. Why did I sing that in the in the style of um, hit or miss? I guess they never kiss, nah. No? Uh, I guess they never miss. Sorry. I, when I when I try and I can't multitask. Roll into the party. The boys are looking our way. We just keep dancing. We don't care what they say. I I really hope they release these as full songs. Uh, but if not, somebody somebody has made them into real songs for sure. What I really like about these episodes is it show it like at the end of the episode it shows us the start of like a new mystery and then it leaves it like it leaves it on like a cliffhanger. It's not necessarily a cliffhanger because like it's not like they're in any danger, but like they leave it on this shot and then it goes to the credits. Uh, what I really like about that is that sh th this shows what's going to happen next episode, like what they're going to be exploring, but it it's kind of like a, a big teaser, right? Um, and it's not like, yeah, I, I just really like it. Um, prepare, we have down here, prepare for something, um, danger. So, hmm. And then like this binary is interesting. I don't know what this, these lines are doing. Maybe that will come up later. Uh, giant pine cones. Cool. So, so here's the thing, and we're going to get into this when we look into episode two now. Actually, let's do that. One big question that I had uh, when I was looking into episode one to, th or when I was doing the reactions of one to three, um, one question I've had was the code for episode number two was, what was it? Uh, what kind of disaster indeed? Um, and like, I, I, I wanted help with this. And it turns out, first of all, like, it's kind of obvious, like, that's just like a, a reference to one of the lines that Dipper says in it. Like, he's like, what kind of disaster uh, is this bunker for? Like, why, why is there this bunker here? What, what's the reasoning for this? Um, and yeah, obviously I missed that. But then, like, there's actually a bigger plot point here that I just kind of completely missed is that Dipper has a good point. Like, what? why is this here so that's something i want to explore right now is like it, are there any clues as to what kind of disaster because i because i asked for help basically on that code like what does it actually mean and you guys in the comments were like we can't tell you 
um, it, it, it goes into spoiler t territory. So first of all, I really appreciate that. Um, I really appreciate that you guys aren't telling me that, even though I said to tell me. Um, really genuinely appreciate that. Um, thank you so much. But uh, I'll prepare for the end. There you go. And then last rescue or ra last rezo. Last resort. Last resort. Last resort. Prepare for the end. So like, like the apocalypse. <laughs> um, oh no, we just had an apocalypse. We had a zombie apocalypse. Um, but like, what what is the end? Is it something to do with Bill Cipher? Is it Bill Cipher destroying the world? Like, I don't know what this bunker is for. It's it's really interesting. Fallout Shelter, nineteen eighty two again. So. One thing I didn't put together is that 1982 is 30 years before 2012, which is when this is technically supposed to be set. And 30 years ago was, um, was, uh, what, what was 30 years ago? 30 years was, was how long Stan has been trying. Uh, and like that, there, there are, I realized actually that there are a lot of places where it says like 30 years, um, like, this is the biggest, like, radioactivity in 30 years, I think the government said or something. Um, so, really interesting that 30 years keeps cropping up. Um, and 1982 seems to be a very significant date, especially when it's, like, here, like, laid out on a calendar. And we've seen it before with uh, Experiment 78, Carpet Diem. Um, so, really interesting. Like, I don't understand <laughs> i don't understand i think this is part of the show i just i i don't i don't get it yet um but there you go again 1982 right there hmm and like that look like there's there's all these boxes look at dipper's face all these boxes stored for like 2070 and it's like they've prepared for so long like what on earth could could what could this bunker be for um, oh, we get a big flicker of pages here. I, the animation is so cool in this. Uh, this is a big... Oh, boy. Do I have to decode that? Uh, what is this? One, two, three. I don't, I don't think that that's going to be something I decode, but maybe I'll have to try my big lore hunt video when we get around to it. Uh, this is the equation that we've seen. Uh, didn't realize it had an exponential in it. Uh, it, it starts with exp which is uh, exponent or ex exponential. Uh, that is the small, uh, the height altering, yes, which we've seen. Uh, hiding spot, we've seen. Cry oh, here we go. Watch your fingers. DNA constantly changes. So this is the cryostasis uh, chamber. And then here we go. Security room. Oh, here's the thing. So what is what is this? What is that equation? I don't know. I've, I have looked at it outside the episode. I, I genuinely just don't know. Um, way out. Weird. And then security room. So he flashes the black light on all of this. And we see that it's a few specific codes. Yeah. Oh, it's symbols. Uh, so there you go. There's also something in the bottom right. Exit. It says exit in the bottom right. Uh, so I'm assuming... That's just how, how he knows that that's the codes, the, the symbols that you press in order to get the exit. This scene was so cool. To be honest, episode one and two, absolutely outstanding. I know people have mixed opinions about three. I thought three was really funny, but obviously it's not very story driven. Uh, I guess it could be with Pacifica. Like I, I feel like maybe they could take Pacifica, um, they could develop Pacifica's character a lot more in the season. Also, you know how I keep saying about the two Mabels? Um, it's it's possible one of them could be Pacifica. I don't know which one it would be, whether it's the shooting star. Oh, no, because we know Mabel is the shooting star because of what Bill said. So what was the other one again? So the other one is a llama. So could that be Pacifica? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know if there's more to this. Like, uh, I, I've said before, this is like a summoning circle, but it, it doesn't seem like we're, we're summoning Bill Cipher by doing this. Um, 
maybe although maybe it's the <laughs> maybe it's the opposite effect oh wouldn't that be cool wouldn't that be cool if you get all these characters together they 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 together are able to destroy bill cypher because here's what i think is going to happen i think bill cypher is going to crop up in like a few episodes time or something and then he's going to pose a real threat and that's going to have something to do with the bunker like that's the reason why we have the bunker because bill cypher is a bigger threat than people realize and then we're going to be going in like the dreamland a lot of the time and we're going to be fighting off bill cypher and then they're going to realize from this page in the book that in order to destroy bill cypher you have to get all of these people together and it's going to be pretty hard because robbie and wendy are currently apart pacifica is uh not not the best and there's also just like a second stand that we just haven't seen yet so it's going to be quite hard to get all these people together but i feel like that could be i feel like that's my prediction for the ending of the show by the way i think the ending of the show just ends with bill being destroyed and then the kids uh leave gravity falls and they're like bye grunkle stan we had a great summer and i'm gonna cry my freaking eyes out um oh Okay, so the Gr Gremloblin, I don't know if we've seen this yet. I don't know if we've seen his actual page, but obviously we've seen him before. Claws emit neurotoxins and then wing structure phase two. Uh, interesting. But then there's another page that I thought was cool. Oh, that's a scary sight. Uh, there's another page before this here. Ah, okay, so this is the, the chamber. What the hell? What on earth? Okay. We know this code. Get in. Okay, we know we know how to solve that. There's a little bill cipher here. Liquid nitrogen. So, li so ni liquid nitrogen is uh, really cold, I think. Like, really, really cold. Uh, I don't know what it's used for, though. Cycle sit. Like, what the frick? Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about chemistry. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, cool zone. That is my alter ego. Airflow. Airflow. Yeah, I don't know what any of this means. Um, but like, as I was saying, with liquid nitrogen being really cold, that, that kind of makes sense with cryogenic. I don't know, what is it called? Cryogenic stasis chamber. Like cryogenic, I think is like cold stuff. Let me let me check. Cryogenics is the science that addresses the production and effects of very low temperatures okay so so there you go um as i was saying very very cold temperatures um it's the sort of thing of like if you if you freeze a living a living being then you could almost like store the life force it like there's there's theories about cryogenic chambers and stuff like that and you can bring things back to life and stuff like it it's a load of bs in my eyes but but uh it, it's it's made from people that are very very smart um so let's take this code right here and we can solve it oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes wait a minute it's the po that's got nothing to do with this okay so we have 14 and then we have 11 and then we have the tr the upside down triangle which is three and then we have the same thing so it's going to be the same word twice so it's going to be like hey hey or something uh i'm going to start introducing my videos uh like that hey hey uh 22 7 22 16. so what is this gonna be Let's take this and find out. Ice Ice Baby. It's going to be freaking Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> I knew from the first letter. I knew it. It's Ice Ice Baby. If it's not, then I will donate £10,000 or dollars or whatever to everybody who comments on this video. Oh, guess, guess I was right. Guess I was right. Okay, there we go. 
So Ice Ice Baby. That's a really cool code. I like that. That's really special. I really love that they're putting more and more codes within the episodes. I think it's really cool. I think it's, it works with the nature of this book and the nature of the show. And it's, it's just really cool in general. I love it. So here's theory number two of the video. Um, or, I mean, I, I'm sure I've made multiple theories in this video, but I think we're going to see this monster at some point. We're going to see this fire, okay? And then we're going to see... Well, we've seen him. Well, I, I think we're going to see those two monsters. There's no way they animated those two monsters and they're not going to bring them back. I think that, that could be possible. And then we come to this. Property of F. So I asked if... Um, I, I, I knew that we had... Uh, old man McGucket's first name. I knew that we had that from Little Dipper. The the credits of Little Dipper, they actually say his first name. Uh, I just couldn't remember it at the time. And I was like, no, it probably doesn't begin with F. Literally one in 26 chance. <laughs> it begins with F. It's Filford McGucket. So, <laughs> that brings me to... Could it be Old Man McGucket? Yeah, <laughs> it could still be Old Man McGucket. Um, I don't know. It's that, That's a weird one. Um, I'm looking at this keyboard. There's no nine. Strange. There's also no caps lock. <laughs> uh, no cap. <laughs> that's so bad. No cap. Um, I, I see AS... DFG is all in orange. I, I guess they're probably just doing this randomly. But, um, and then we have MO52584. Don't know what that means. Uh, but it's weird that 9 and, uh, and caps lock is, are, are, are both gone. 9 in caps. So pro property of F, that's, obviously this is the author. Uh, F, F is the first letter of the author's name. Uh, just kind of has to be. Um, but I, I don't know where that brings me because there's no other people that begin with F, I don't think, or at least important people. Um, I mean, Freddie Mercury is pretty important. And then obviously there's going to be a little less in Gulf War, but I'm going to go through it anyway just to see if there's anything... Yeah, I, I don't think there's uh, anything else here in episode three. Uh, I say anything else, but I didn't actually point anything out in the first place. So I, I don't think there's anything in episode three. Um, I, I could be missing things. Of course, I'm definitely missing things um, because uh, Green 18. Green 18 was this, this course. So the windmill was the 18th hole on... It, on the mini golf course because that's the last one that they go to obviously and there's 18 holes on a golf course so there you go uh but yeah yeah cool um so there was there was nothing else and i think that's the end of this video to be honest <laughs> so i cannot wait to continue with this series so thank you for sticking with me guys uh, I know this, uh, I'm, I'm doing the reactions a little bit slower than the first season, but that's because I want to take it all in and I don't want to rush it. I don't want to rush any of it, but I am really enjoying it nevertheless. So, cannot wait to see you next time for episode number four, episode number five, and episode number six. Okay, I will see you then. Goodbye.